paradigm, a worldview underlying the theories and methodologies of a particular scientific subject. Since you and I were born, we have been molded and sculpted into who we are today based on the stories and philosophies that were offered to us in our childhood. From those stories and philosophies that we picked up as tools, we started to form a worldview or paradigm of how the world works. From what's right and what's wrong to who's right and who's wrong. And ultimately, we like to keep a nice wall of safety around what we we know and what we don't know, mostly because we were taught to fear the unknown. But there are those of us who like to challenge those common stories and philosophies, knowing that nothing is set in stone and that progress depends on those who challenge the status quo. Now I made this video for you today because I feel like over the past five years of my life, I've gone through maybe 20 plus paradigm shifts just from seeking new information. And I started this channel because I wanted to share all of the things that have been super helpful for me in my journey to hopefully inspire you as you go out and go on your own journey. And so with that being said, I'd like to share with you 10 books that I found indescribably impactful in my journey. I'll try not to spoil any of them for you, but I will be sharing a little bit of a summary from each book, as well as share with you my favorite quote from each one. I hope you enjoy this video and let's get right into it. What's up, everybody? Thank you again for joining me on another episode of KBFL Different. I'm your host, Des Cole, one of the founders of Different. And as I said already, we'll be talking about 10 timeless books that I like to call paradigm shifters. Before we get started, I'd just like to shout out all of the different subscribers out there. Thank you guys for your support. If you're not subscribed to the different channel, then please join the family as we'll be dropping more of these KBFL episodes. And we also drop our podcast navigating now on this channel. So if you would like to support us, then please like this video and subscribe to the channel. And also comment under these videos, other videos that you would like to see or what you're thinking about these videos so far. It would mean so much to us as we're continuing to grow our channel. But anyways, let's get right into the first book. All right, guys, so the very first book I have for you today is Think and Grow Rich by Napoleon Hill. This one is an absolute classic and I have pretty much like the Bible version because it pretty much acted as a Bible for me as I was reading it. But this book is a culmination of knowledge and stories collected by Napoleon Hill from the most successful men of his era, which was the early 1900s. And it basically details the power of setting a definite chief aim and then using the subconscious mind as a tool to influence physical reality through the manipulation of the ether. You can mostly find this book on reading lists for entrepreneurs, but I really think that it is a must read for anybody who is looking to get out of a mental gutter or really just wants to find out how to use their mind to influence physical reality. I always keep this book handy as each chapter has a ton of gems in it. I don't want to make these explanations too lengthy, so with that, I will leave you with my favorite quote. You may influence, direct, and eventually control your own environment, making your life what you want it to be. Or, you may neglect to exercise the privilege which is yours, to make your life to order, thus casting yourself upon the broad sea of circumstance, where you will be tossed hither and yon, like a chip on the waves of the ocean. Alright guys, so the second book I have for you today is called The Richest Man in Babylon by George Samuel Clayson. This book is a classic in the realm of finance and wealth building. The book is a series of stories and parables based out of ancient Babylon that feature a fictional character named Arkad who tells his story of how he was a poor man to how he became the richest man in Babylon. Arkad's stories always end with principles for wealth that are laid out as the seven cures for generating wealth and the five laws of gold for protecting and investing wealth. This book was actually given to me by my homie and business partner Jay, so shout out to him for that. And after reading it, it definitely goes down in my book as a hidden gem in the world of finance and wealth building books. So with that being said, I'll leave you with my favorite quote from it. The more of wisdom we know, the more we may earn. That man who seeks to learn more of his craft shall be richly rewarded. All right, guys, so the next book I have for you today is called You Are the Placebo by Dr. Joe Dispenza. Dr. Joe is definitely doing some amazing work in the world right now, and this is just one of his many books, but I would definitely recommend that you go check out his other ones. His background is in neurology, epigenetics, and ancient healing techniques, 
which has helped him create a methodology to help people realize their own willpower for healing themselves. This book gives a more detailed look into the scientific side of his findings and really reasons out how he came up with the methodology that he holds today. Dr. Joe has plenty of books out, like I said before, and he has featured on plenty of podcasts. So if you are interested in his work, definitely check him out. I don't want to talk too much about him, but he truly is an inspiring figure in the world right now as he is literally teaching people to heal themselves of tumors, cancers, blindness, and all of the other diseases that the human body generates. So if any of that interested you as much as it interested me, then I definitely recommend to check out Dr. Joe and his work. And with that, I'll leave you with my favorite quote from the book. When you change your belief, you have to start by first accepting that it's possible. Then change your level of energy with the heightened emotion. And finally, allow your biology to reorganize itself. All right, guys. So the next book I have for you today is called The Power of Awareness by Neville Goddard. This book right here is a personal favorite of mine. I first came across it as an audio book, but as you can see, I had to get the physical version just so I can pass it around to my friends and family. In The Power of Awareness, Neville Goddard very bluntly explains the nature of reality and also explains how the power of assumption is what is dominating our experience. In the book, he uses a lot of metaphors and biblical references to basically show you how to use the power of awareness to your advantage. After being with this book for a while, I definitely regard it in the same caliber of information as something like the Bible or the Quran, just because it is so packed with gems and there's no trace of discrimination in it, so I would definitely recommend it to anybody. Neville Goddard has a ton of other books that you should check out as well, but with that being said, I'll share with you my favorite quote from this one. What you must strive after is being. In order to do, it is necessary to be. The end of yearning is to be. Alright guys, so moving on, the next book I have today is called The Seven Habits of Highly Effective People by Stephen R. Covey. This was one of the very first books I bought as I was on my journey of seeking new information. And obviously, as you could tell from the title, Stephen Covey explains the seven main habits that effective people have and use. Now, I won't go over each one, but what I will say about this book is that it was a great starter for me as I was on the path to realizing what my best self looked like. Now, with that being said, I'd still recommend it to anybody at any level or any age as it serves as a great set of simple reminders that help us be most effective in our daily lives. And now my favorite quote from this book is, the ability to subordinate an impulse to a value is the essence of the proactive person. All right, so the next book I have for you guys is called The Magic of Thinking Big by Marvin McGee. Similarly to Think and Grow Rich, this book lays out principles and then tells stories of how people use those principles effectively. Obviously, from the title, you could tell that this book is talking about the principles of thinking big. Now, honestly, before I read this book, I believed that I had thought pretty big compared to those people around me. But this book really showed me that I was still limiting myself through my own imagination. And from there, this book gave me the courage that I needed to think as big as I really wanted to. So if that's something that you need in your life, then please make sure to check this one out. And with that, I'll leave you with my favorite quote from the book. People who get things done in this world don't wait for the spirit to move them. They move the spirit. All right, so the next book I have for you guys is called The Game of Life and How to Play It by Florence Scovel Shin. This is one of two books that I actually have on this list from Florence Scovel Shin. Like most of these books, I came across them as audiobooks and they very quickly became some of my favorite pieces of knowledge. This book, The Game of Life and How to Play It, explains in a nutshell, if life is thought of as a game, then we are motivated to learn and apply the rules for our own happiness. Using the metaphor of a game, Florence outlines what the rules are to the game and how to navigate them most effectively. I'd say that this book really inspired me to look at life in terms of a game, which has really inspired me in how I move in the world now. So if you wanna learn more about the game of life and how to play it, then definitely check this one out. And with that, I'll leave you with my favorite quote from the book. There is an old saying that man only dares use his words for three purposes, to heal, bless, or prosper. What man says of others will be said of him, and what he wishes for another, he is wishing for himself. 
All right, guys, so the next one I have for you today is another one by Florence Scovel Shin called The Secret Door to Success. This book is a series of lectures given by Florence Scovel Shin as she helps people realize where their secret door to success is so that way they can remove whatever is in the way to them opening it. This book serves as another great reminder to become aware of what's holding you back as well as offer some affirmations to help reprogram your mind towards whatever that is that you truly want. Now with that, I'll leave you with my favorite quote from the book. Spiritual development means the ability to stand still or stand aside and let infinite intelligence lift your burdens and fight your battles. All right, guys, so we're getting down to the last three books on the list. Thank you so much if you've made it to this far in the video. If you found value in this video at all, then we would definitely appreciate a like. But anyways, let's get back into the books. All right, so the next book I have for you guys is called The Alchemist by Paulo Coelho. My college roommate in my junior year actually gifted this one to me, so shout out to you, Adrian, for that one. But this book tells the story of a young sheep herder who has a dream that tells him that he needs to go find his personal treasure at the foot of the Egyptian pyramids. One of the most important concepts that I took away from this book is the concept of omens. And since I finished this book, it has always reminded me to always keep my mind open to the signs of God. It's a fun, easy read for all people of all ages, but I would definitely recommend it to any young person. But with that being said, let me share you my favorite quote from the book. Tell your heart that the fear of suffering is worse than the suffering itself, and that no heart has ever suffered when it goes in search of its dreams, because every second of the search is an encounter with God and with eternity. All right, so the next book is called Mastery by Robert Greene. If you don't know Robert Greene by now, then you should definitely check him out because he is by far one of the most prolific writers of our time, and Mastery is one of my favorite pieces of his work. Now, obviously, this book is about mastery in the process that comes along with it. Now, there are very few who attempt it, but for those who do pursue mastery and greatness in their craft, there are definitely habits and tendencies that those people hold. I love the way that Robert Greene lays out how the path to mastery is taken. And so for those of you who would even dare to take the path of greatness or mastery, this book will be a great tool in your backpack of knowledge as you go on that journey. And so with that, here's my favorite quote from the book. The future belongs to those who learn more skills and combine them in creative ways. All right, guys, so the very last book that I have for you today is called The Book of Knowing and Worth by Paul Selig. Now, this book was by far the most challenging yet satisfying spiritual books I've ever read in my entire life. But I'll say that this book is definitely for anybody who is on the journey of self-realization and is looking for a book of straight truth with a capital T. This is one of many books written by Paul Selig in a series called I Am The Word. Now, I definitely do recommend this book, but I recommend it with caution just because I know that everybody is at different points in their spiritual journey. And I know that if this was the very first book I read in my spiritual journey, I probably wouldn't even been able to understand it. But anyways, if you feel that you are ready and this book calls to you, then I highly, 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 highly highly recommend this one. But lastly, my favorite quote from this one is, how you attend to your issues is always in direct accord with how you feel about yourself, what you believe you may do, and what you are allowed to change. All right, guys, so that'll do it for my 10 timeless books that are sure to change your paradigm. If you guys enjoyed this video, then I would definitely appreciate a like and make sure to subscribe to the different channel as we will be dropping new KBFL videos every single week. We also have our podcast navigating now on the different channels, so please make sure to check that out. Again, thank you guys for joining me. I'm your host, Des Cole, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.